Greetings to God's people as we join together this day for our daily devotion here in the sanctuary at St. Matthew's Church in Glendale, California. Let's open with a word of prayer. God, our Father, through your Son, you made us a new creation. Jesus shared our nature and became one of us. With his help, may we become more like him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Colossians, St. Paul writes, Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving, and pray for us also that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ, on account of which I am in prison, that I may make it clear as I ought to speak. Conduct yourselves wisely toward outsiders, making the most of the time. Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how you ought to answer everyone. And a reading from St. John's Gospel, the 15th chapter, Jesus says, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch of mine that bears no fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already made clean by the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. If a person does not abide in me, that one is cast forth as a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you will, and it will be done for you. By this my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that a person lay down their life for their friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. St. Ambrose of Milan comments, What is more precious than friendship? which is shared alike by angels and by mortals. God himself makes us friends instead of servants, as he himself says, you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. He gave us a pattern of friendship to follow. We are to fulfill the wish of a friend, to unfold to him our secrets which we hold in our hearts and are not to disregard his confidences. Let us show a friend our heart, and he will open his to us. Therefore, Jesus says, I have called you friends, for I have made known to you all things whatsoever I have heard from my Father. So one who does the will of God is his friend and is honored with his name. Those who are of one mind with him, they too are his friends. For there is unity of mind in friendship, and no one is more hateful 
than a person that injures friendship. Let us pray with a prayer of St. Anselm. O oh, dearest friend, who has so loved and saved us, the thought of whom is so sweet and always growing sweeter, come with Jesus and dwell in our hearts. Then will you keep a watch over our lips, our steps, our deeds, and we shall not need to be anxious either for our souls or our bodies. Build us into truth, we pray, and build truth in us. Unite us more perfectly to Jesus, who made it his will to do your will, and whom the zeal of your house consumed. O most loving Father of Jesus Christ, from whom flows all love, who art love and truth, let our hearts, frozen in brokenness and wrongdoing, cold to you and cold to others, be warmed by your fire and brightened by your light. So help us and bless us in your Son. Amen.